Hi, this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can use front post stitches to create crochet cables. Now here I have a small example. It can be difficult to see this on video, so I'm turning it a little bit here. Hopefully you can get an idea. We've got a couple of rows of front post stitches that cross over another set. There are lots of ways to cable. This is just to demonstrate a basic twist and give you an idea of how they can come together. You should follow whatever the directions for the pattern you're using tell you to do. Now because this is so difficult to see, I'm going to set this aside and demonstrate this set of stitches to you using a very thick yarn and a nice big end hook. Here I've got a couple of rows of single crochet. So I'm going to start off having chained one with a few single crochets. There's always some sort of background, usually single crochets when you're cabling, just so that the cables have a good solid background to pop off of. Okay, so I've got three single crochets here. Now I'm gonna start the cable set with a front post double crochet. Around the very next stitch, I'm going to go, rather than going into the top, I'm going to go around the body from right to left. This is just a basic front post double crochet. And it's the way that this particular crochet cable pattern starts off. I'm going to do the same around the next stitch. I'm doing a front post double crochet. Then I will single crochet into the next stitch. You'll notice I'm not going into those, the tops of those uh, stitches we've front posted around at all. We'll go ahead and skip those. So with a single crochet right into the next stitch, then a set of two more front post double crochets. If you're ever wondering exactly where to go into for your cable stitches, whether you're going around the right post or not, just look at the back and count the tops to know you've skipped the right number of stitches. Now, three more single crochets just to finish it out. One, two, and three. Now, most crochet cable items are gonna be one side, which means on one side you're gonna have the cables, and on the other side it's just gonna be basically a flat object with those little tops that didn't get worked before, the top Vs. So, when you're working the wrong side, you just work a row of single crochets. Now, of course, in the single, crochet, the single crochets from the previous row, that's just working straight into the top. But for your post stitches, don't work down into those left behind tops. Work right into the top of the post stitches for your back side rows. Okay, I've reached the end of this back sided row with a single crochet directly all the way across. I'm going to chain one and turn it back over for the cabling side. I will single crochet in the first three stitches for our background. And I'm going to continue to work the front post stitches straight up here. This time, instead of going around the body of the single crochet previous, I'm going to go all the way down around the body of that first front post stitch. Go from right to left behind that post Pull it up and work your double crochet. And do the same thing for the next one. Go all the way down to that front post from the previous front round. Skip those two backs. Work another single crochet right into the top there. And then two more post stitches worked right around the body of those previous post stitches. So essentially when you're working the cabling in the front, when you're doing your post stitches, you're kind of skipping the backside rows, the single crochet rows. But then when you're doing your single crochet background, you're gonna go ahead and single crochet right into that top background row. This helps keep everything even since the post stitches, even though they're going down a bit, are taller than single crochets. So here you can see we've got two sets of straight up and down lines. I'm going to work another single crochet row across the back, and then we'll do our twist. Okay, so we finished that back row. Now it's time to make the twist. We'll work those first three single crochets, just as before. 
breaking right into that top row there. Oops. There we go. Now, rather than going around this front post, we're going to do a treble crochet. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my hook twice. We're gonna go all the way over to the left set of front post stitches. And we're still gonna go right to left. So starting with the rightmost of the left set. So I'm gonna go all the way across, go behind that body, pull up a stitch, and then work a treble crochet right across the top of your fabric. You don't want to work these too tight because then they'll pull together. So make sure you're working your stitches just a little bit loose. Another treble crochet around the one just to the left of that one. Go around the body of the previous post stitch and work your treble crochet right across the top. Now you need the next stitch is going to be the single crochet in the middle. So flip it over and you can see the two tops normally for these two posts that you would skip, go ahead and skip those and single crochet right into the next one, which is the single crochet you've been working all along. Be sure to keep your working yarn to the left of your hook. If you pull it over, you're gonna be going the wrong way. You're gonna get something weird, a bit of a tangle. So keep the yarn to the right of your hook. Go through that top, yarn over, pull through, work your single crochet. Now, that's a bit of a spacer. Now we're gonna do the other cross. Get your ready for your treble. Wrap the yarn twice and come over to the rightmost set and we're going to do the one on the right first. Go around the body of the post stitch, yarn over, pull up a stitch, and then you can go ahead and work, turn your work like this if it's easier, whatever works for you. Work your treble crochet as you normally would. And then make another one over that last one, the left one of the right set. Go around the body. Get a little bit tight here. Just make sure to try and keep your stitches relaxed. And there you've got your crossover. So we're going to skip those last two tops of the left set there. You can see those sitting there. And put your single crochets into the last three stitches of the row, just as before. One, two, three. So there you've made your twist. To show you how that looks a little better, we'll go ahead and work our opposite side row, just as before, with a row of single crochets. Okay, so let's do one more row of crochet cables just to show you how that's going to really look when it's the whole twist is done here. We're going to work the first three single crochets just as we have in every other row. You can see how that's given us a nice flat, non cable area. I don't know that it has a name. Now we're going to do regular double crochet front post stitches again. This time, just going from right to left, just as before. Start that first crossed one right there. Go around the post, work your double crochet. Around the next one, and it's a little tight in here. Normally I'd be doing this with a lot stretchier yarn, but this big thick stuff is acrylic. Cables work look really nice when worked in wool or cotton, and acrylic too, depending. This big thick stuff probably isn't the best choice, but I wanted to make sure you could see what I was doing. Work that center single crochet, and then front post double crochet stitches around the last two treble crochets. Get right down around the body and this will give you the straight lines up here and then the last three single crochets skipping those two back ones one two and three so that right there is a basic crochet cable twist you've got the behind set of lines here you've got the two that go in front you've got a nice cross going on there and then of course, with lots of patterns, you might be working a bobble in here, or you might have other stuff going on on either side. These techniques can be used to create all sorts of crochet cable patterns. And that's all there is. Thanks for watching.